Today is Wednesday the 19th of August. I couldn't believe my eyes whenever I read the Belfast Telegraph with the interview that was done with Martin McGuinness. Not so much that Martin McGuinness was in it, but the fact he has the cheek to say that the photograph of him with the gun in his hand is all in the past, just forget about that, doesn't count. And that he's about building a better future for Northern Ireland, even for people like Willie Fraser. Well, let me tell you something, Mr McGuinness. I come through 40 years of your building, but it wasn't building, it was destruction, where you murdered and maimed our loved ones. You not built my future. You've had enough to do in my life where you destroyed it in this last, over this last 40 years. Not only mine, thousands of people in Northern Ireland. Martin, you talk about building uh, our future. It's time that you and Jerry Adams and people like you who've got blood on their hands step to the side. And if you are genuine and serious, you will step to the side. And although I don't support the Republican cause in any shape or form, let the next generation that has no blood on their hands take over their own. It'll not be as hard for people like ourselves to live with that. So if you were genuine, it's time you step down. Your hands are covered in the blood of the Protestant community of Ulster. You have done your so-called bit for Ireland and it hasn't worked. So if you want to build a future for people like me, the best advice we can give you is step down. So Marty, you go. Jerry, you go. And Francie and all the rest of the ones up there. But I think it is time if this country is to move on, that the people who created the mayhem and destroyed it step down and let us rebuild it. So, if you're serious about Willie Fraser's future and other people's future in Northern Ireland, go. That's the best thing you could do, Marty. Because by the time this legal case is finished with you, anyway, you probably will be going. But that's beside the case. If you had any guts, you and Adams would be away now and let the next generation of Republicans uh, work towards whatever goal they believe in. But as long as we have people there who are covered in blood of our people, we can't trust you. We won't trust you. We have to see you brought to justice. So the best thing is stand aside. Let the next generation take it all. Now, I certainly don't want you having anything to do with my future. We intend to build it ourselves, to build it where we can live in a genuine peace and live together, not to be ruled by somebody who believes in the use of the gun, which obviously you do. Um, things is moving slowly, but surely, just as one day we'll catch up with people like Martin McGuinness. But it has to be a genuine justice. It can't be one of these ones where we pretend everything is okay and that we're all living happily ever after. Martin, you have to answer for your crimes. That's the way law and order works in any democratic society. And I know you don't believe in what uh, democracy stands for, but for the talk about building my future after you destroyed my life and people like me, you've ruined thousands of lives, not only of the Protestant community, but of the Catholic community. And now you want to tell us you're going to build a future for not even so much for me, but for my family and uh, my nephews and nieces and family and friends. I wouldn't trust you to look after the hens, Martin McGuinness. Never mind, build my future. So just in case you're in any doubt, we haven't forgot what happened in the last 40 years. And as history will tell you, people who forget their history is destined to suffer in the future. We won't forget what you did.